In a world that's all turbulent, either through terrorism or hate or racism, I want to show that, you know, love and sport can conquer all. Welcome to a very special edition of Non-League Vlogs. With World Cup fever in full spin, some of us are still a little bit salty that it's not being held in England this year. But one competition has landed right here in London. Very exciting stuff. The Kanifa World Football Cup for unrecognised nations. And we're here today at Slough Town to watch Punjab versus the United Koreans of Japan in a crucial group match. Before the game kicks off, let's take a look at the team we're focusing on today. Punjab is a huge region which links northern India and eastern Pakistan, stretches across over 300,000 square kilometres and is home to around 138 million people. Over 700,000 Punjabis live in the UK alone and many of the Punjab football team play in the English non-league. We spoke to the head of the Punjab FA and one of the players to see what it's all about. Absolute pleasure to meet you, mate. Hi there, how yeah, are you? Very well, how are you? Very well. Yeah, very feeling, good. Uh, feeling tense about the game today? We're, we're, we're Lions, the Lions yeah. of Punjab. Lions of Punjab are down tense. I started the Punjab FA in um, July 2014 uh, with a pen and paper, and I read about this uh, independent football association governing body that gives provisions for the freedom to play football, to represent your community, heritage, background. So I gave up everything I was doing, and I've been doing this ever since without zero income. If you're going to do something, yeah. do it full throttle. Yeah. If you're going to do it part-time, it doesn't work. Yeah. What does pulling on the Punjab shirt mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, um, it's, a, it's a proud thing to play for sort of your, your home nation, representing your own people. I've yeah. been here for about two and a half years now, uh, so a fairly experienced member of the team. I've been running for about three years in total anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, so far it's going really well. Um, and really excited for things to come. I hated once. Yeah. I hated certain communities. Yeah, yeah. I hated. I was racist as a yeah. child. You know, Wait, when I embraced football, yeah. football brought me to Afro Caribbean, to to further Asians, to to Muslims, to different religions, mm. to Sikhs as well. More yeah. Sikhs. Like I'm, I'm born from Sikh family. Mm. Uh, and it binded. It showed me that everybody is equal. Yeah. And football did that. Kanifa have been. The, the light in football, in football yeah. where, where it has given truly football for all. Yeah. Uh, FIFA are fantastic mm. in what they do, but Kanifa, where they couldn't, where they couldn't cater yeah. for the rest of the world, yeah. Kanifa have done that. And if I was FIFA, yeah. I'd be saying, thanks, yeah. thanks for guys. <laughs> yeah. you know? I appreciate it yeah. because you're giving football to all and all yeah. binding together and through all the hostilities in the world, yeah. through borders, territories, whatever, let football bring people together. Yeah. And that's For what sure. football, that's what Kanifa is about. It's a vehicle yeah. to bring happiness and I'm blessed, absolutely blessed. Yeah. They are fantastic people. So now you've got the lowdown on Punjab, let's get the match underway and join James down on pitch side. How's it going, James? Yeah, feeling pretty rough today, but the football's been good so far, so it's you know, kept me up quite a bit. The sun's beaming down. Uh, Punjab moving strong. I mean, so far we've had a penalty uh, given but saved. Very well saved by the keeper. United Koreans having a bit better at full uh, at the moment. A really feisty game. There's lots of challenges flying. You can tell they both want to. Obviously, they both need a win to get to get out of the grid to get to the finals. So both teams really up for it. The pace of United Koreans versus the size and power of the Punjab. So yeah, a really interesting uh, matchup. Really interesting contest. And yeah, let's just hope there's a goal soon because it's crying out. Keeper's just gone down injured. Yeah, ball in the box gone in. Uh, keeper's gone for it. Had it in his hands and then he spilled it. Hit somebody. Uh, quite a lot of people inside there, but he stayed down. So hopefully he's all right. But, um, everyone's enjoying a nice bit of war. It's a bloody hot day. It's it? bloody hot. James slaving away behind the camera while I tuck into an ice cream. Don't see this every day, do you? Ice cream van at the uh, at the ground. Pretty good stuff. Michael was trying to mug me off earlier with his ice cream, but he's a fool and forgot to get sauce, so there's some chocolate sauce on there. Who's laughing now? Nil-nil at half time. We've moved under cover because 
this beautiful summer's day has been interrupted by a little bit of rain and we didn't really fancy it so the station's here now probably move for the second half and in the second half Panjab finally got their reward another penalty after another incisive attack and this time they actually put us away <laughs> Five minutes to go off the game and things are getting a little bit tense on the field. A little bit of argy-bargy between one of the United Koreans players and one of the Punjab players. So, you know, United Koreans do want this. They actually really need a win. Uh, one nil down, they're going to need two late goals. They want to go through. Come on, Punjab, see this out. See this out. 1-1, uh, one, one, number 26 for United Koreans in Japan. Scored an absolute beauty from about 20 yards away. Curled over the keeper. Brilliant shot right at the end of the game, one all. So there we have it, the United Koreans of Japan didn't have quite enough to win the game, so that means that Panjab progress and the United Koreans fall. But it doesn't matter, because of the placement games, every single team in the Kanifa World Football Cup plays six games in ten days. No wonder they're all so tired. By the time this goes out, the world champions will have been crowned, but this tournament is about way more than just winning. It's about the fans who are able to cheer on their home country when they otherwise wouldn't be able to. It's about the players who are able to represent where they're from. And of course, it's about the volunteers who put their life on hold to make a great tournament like this happen. So thank you to Slough Town for having us today. Thank you to Kanifa for putting on this marvellous competition. Thank you to the Panjab FA for giving us their time. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you think about Kanifa in the comments below. And yeah, get involved. Go and watch some Kanifa games. See you later.